Hi, welcome to the Silhouette Design Studio tutorial. I am going to be your host and instructor, uh, David, and I am with uh, Black Cap Design Co. And here at Black Cap Design Co., we want to teach you everything you need to know and what to learn to start and grow a successful sticker business, decal business, and sign and graphics business. So, here we go. All right, now to get started here, we're going to uh, just do a quick overview of the Silhouette Design Studio software. This is exactly what you receive when you purchase the Silhouette Cameo portrait, you know, anything. This is what you basically get. There is no um, add-ons or new features or anything different in this example. This is exactly what you will get. Uh, so you know exactly what you're starting off with. I figure that would be the best way for you to get started. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So right, I've already installed it. Uh, you can go to the Silhouette website uh, to download the most recent version uh, or to update your software. But once you have it uploaded and downloaded, this is where you're going to go. Uh, down here, I'm working on a Mac, so if you work on a PC, you can still follow along. A lot of this is going to be identical to what you're going to see on your screen as well. So, I already have my Silhouette Studio on, so I'm going to click on it, bring it up. And it first starts off here in this view, uh, design view. So, this shows you what you're currently working with, and this is the standard uh, 8 and I believe it was 8 by 12 uh, sheet that you get with the portrait. Now everything that you design and everything you create will have to stay within this actual area to cut and to do your design work. So just keep that in mind. So if you do have to do something larger than that, don't worry, we will have a tutorial on how to do larger graphics using a small plotter like this, but that's later on. But right now we're just going to go over the basics to get you started. So my goal is to get you from opening a file and downloading, getting your software set up, and to plugging in your plotter and running a job. So this is what I'm trying to get to now. We will be doing, doing a little bit more what I'm going to call deep dives into certain aspects of the software. But right now, uh, we're really just going to focus on just getting you from getting your file ready to getting it cut. Okay? So the first thing we really want to do is to determine whether or not we are in the right settings. So to do that, we're first we're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. And over here on the top left, you'll see a new drawing pane. Now, this is whenever you start something new. Obviously, you want to start a new file. This is where you would go to go ahead and get started with that. The next one over is going to be your open. So this will open up your files and anything else you have saved ready that you want to bring in as they are. Next one over, we're going to look at the Pixie Scan image. This will give you your registration marks the things you need to go ahead and cut uh, based off a of print that you will run through the Silhouette Studio. Uh, your save button. So basically, just to save it, uh, determine where you're going to actually save it and putting it there, and that, that's basically all it does. Next one over here is the saved SD card. So right now, uh, if you're just working with a portrait, you do not have an SD card slot on the machine, so there's really you know, no need for that. Uh, but if you happen to have a Cameo, Cameo 3, I believe those have the SD card slots. But again, this is really focusing on the portrait at the moment. So when we do get to those machines, we will do a deep dive and really go over those aspects of the machine. Next one over is your print button. So this is going to be, you know, you're going to print your graphics out onto your sticky paper or whatever you're going to end up printing. Um, and then you can send it back here to the portrait with the pixie scan, the um, registration marks to cut later on. Next one over is to send to silhouette. Now this is essentially what you're going to be learning this in this tutorial. So with that in mind, 
I'm going to go ahead and briefly go over the rest of the tools in the tool palette here just to give you more familiarization so you're not just jumping into this blindly. Uh, over here you have a copy button, your paste button, and your cut button. So these are just your standard cut and paste. So if you need to remove something, you cut it out of the design. If you need to drop something in, you can use your paste button and so on. These two little arrows are your redo and your undo. Now with these buttons, you can, uh, if you delete or maybe you're doing a design and you need to readjust something and you didn't do it previously and you have to go back to do it first, then you just use your back arrow button here and just do an undo. Um, and then your redo button is if you've gone too far back, you can always redo whatever you did before. This is going to be your the hand a little symbol here is your pan using your mouse so you can pan around basically it's moving the entire uh, graphic or screen so you can see what's going on around it uh, we'll look at that a little bit more deeper later uh, your zoom in and your zoom out buttons are right here this is going to be to if you wanted to drag it over a shape to zoom so zoom in right on a shape that you're looking at uh, this button here is going to be your zoom in and out. So using the center button on a mouse, you can use it to zoom in and zoom out. So if I click that right now, I can zoom in or zoom out and zoom in just by holding and clicking and uh, pulling it back and forth. Uh, this one is going to be your fit to window. This is a very a good tool to have and to be used to using. Uh, most of the time you're going to be zoomed in and you're going to be, you know, focusing on maybe this area over here and you may be working on something. But if you really want to see how the whole design is working out, you can click back and it'll jump back to the full page, the full setup that you're actually working in. All right, so those are your basic tools right here. These are kind of standard. You'll pretty much see tools like these in almost any type of design software. Um, those are going to be the kind of go-to's here um, and then over here we're going to go into these in a little bit later uh, time there's a few we'll, we'll touch on during this uh, uh, tutorial series and when we do go into those I'll take a little bit more time to focus in on them so you really understand what the tool is for how to use it well and how to uh, you know incorporate it in your design process so that's the first introduction video here to your Silhouette software. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to pull in some artwork. And um, stay tuned for that because the artwork I'm going to be using, a uh, fairly popular cartoon character. I'm not going to go into details too much, but um, if you're into sci-fi at all, it'll be something I think you might like. And uh, you will be able to use the link in the video to download a free copy of this graphic so you can use it yourself for uh, your private use only uh, no commercial use though uh, this is uh, this is David signing off and uh, look forward for the next video see you then